and welcome to Math 6. Okay, so today I'm going to be talking about like the uh, absolute value and that sort of stuff. Um, so let's get on with it. Um, so we've got like a number line, right? Um, wow, <laughs> not that number line. Let's do, um, uh, yeah, let's do um, naught and say we've got... Um, We've got x and y and 6 on the other end. So if we've got this number line, we can say that these two distances between minus x and naught and um, and uh, x and naught are congruent. So and they're from obviously the same distance away from the origin. So what we can say, um, and this is this is um, this is um, what the um, absolute value is all about, really. So we can say that the distance. Um, Distance from a real number x to zero. Of course, we have to deal with real numbers on the number line. Um, um, is called the absolute value of x. So absolute value. Okay. So yeah, so we could say that this could be the absolute value or maybe the absolute distance, perhaps. Um, it's the same thing there. Um, and we denote it, um, um, it rather, <laughs> absolute value. So we've got two sort of bars on either side of the x there. Okay. So for instance, if we had, say, a point, if we just had, say, a um, we had zero here and minus five here, um, we would say that this distance um, is going to be the absolute value of minus 5, which is equal to 5. Okay, so from there we can say, we can um, start to think of the rules. So the absolute value of x, okay, is going to be, um, it's going to be x if x is greater than 0. It's going to be 0 if x equals 0, and it's going to be negative x if x is less than zero okay so in that last case is what we saw there it was negative x um, um now let's consider two the distance um the distance between two points on the number line uh between two points on the real line okay so say we have um, um minus three here we have zero here, five here. Okay, we're going to call these points A and we're going to call them B here. Um, so we want to find the distance. So we want to find the distance going from A to B. Well, what we'd do is we would do um, we do minus three, uh, the absolute value. So it's going to be um, the absolute value of um, minus three um, minus five. Okay, so it's going to be the absolute value of minus 8, which is going to be 8. If we went, went, went the other way around, we would say it's going to be um, 5 um, minus, minus 3. Okay, so 5 plus 3 is 8. Absolute value of 8 is 8 as well. So what we can deduce from this is that it doesn't matter which way we go. If we go from A to B or B to A, the distance is still going to be the same, which is obviously is quite intuitive. Um, yeah, so we can say that basically. We can say the distance uh, AB um, equals the distance BA. Um, so, um, so the absolute value of B minus A is equal to the absolute value of A minus B. Um, yeah. So let's do a couple more examples just to clarify this issue. Um, if we're going to say the distance from, say, minus 20 to 50, okay, so what we would do then is we could say, well, it's going to be the absolute value of um, minus 20 um, minus 50, okay, so that's going to be minus 20 minus 50, so that's going to be the absolute value of minus 70, which is 70 go the other way around um, we can say it's the absolute value of 50 uh, minus minus 20 ok 
okay so 50 minus minus 20 is going to be the absolute value of the absolute value of 50 minus minus 20 is going to be the absolute value of 70 which is also 70. so we can see that that works both ways if we um do another example let's do another one we do um minus 100 minus 30 let's say that so we'll do the absolute value of minus 100 minus um minus 30. okay so it's going to be minus 100 plus 30 that's going to be minus 70. um and we can see 70 as well probably could have chosen different numbers i just it's just a thought of it at the same at the moment all right so if we do the absolute value of um minus 30 minus the absolute value of minus 100 Okay, so it's going to be minus 30 plus 100, which is going to be 70. Absolute value of 70, which of course is 70 as well. So yeah, um, it's, just, it's just how I decided to do those things. So we can see anyway that the distance between um, these points is um, 70 in, in both cases there. And it will work, of course, for any other distances to, to find a distance between two different points on the number line. Um, now, let's think about um, real numbers as decimals now. Okay, so decimals, of course, refers to um, base 10. Okay, all right, so if we were going to do, say, um, say we're going to try and work out what three quarters was, what we would do is we would do four into three. We find it, wouldn't, it wasn't going to go, so we do four into three, then we subtract here, we subtract, and we'll get two. Okay. So then what we would do is we do we put the 7 there because 4 into 28 goes 7 times, remainder 2 there. Um, so then we're going to bring that naught down and we're going to see 4 into 20 is going to go 5 times. Um, 20, there we go, naught. And we could, I mean, we don't need to bring it because obviously we know not to bring them down. But in essence, what actually this is going on here is this has actually got recurring zeros in it. So 3 quarters, um, you won't see it obviously that many times like this is going to be it's going to be like that it's going to be 0 0.750 recurring so that's how that would look okay um, the next one that we're going to do is um, so another example we'll do one seventh okay so let's put that in a decimal base 10 notation okay so we're going to do seven and we're going to do that into one we're going to put um, well actually I'm just going to do the noughts as we as we go so obviously we don't need to do that we're going to have the point there so 7 into 10 is going to go one time we're going to go um, minus 7 here put that there and we'll go 3 here so we've got another naught to bring down um, so 7 into 30 is going to go 4 times um, 28 minus um, well I did that bit bit to the, to the side doesn't matter okay um, so we've got 2 um, so what's that 7 into 20 is going to go 2 um, it's going to be a, it's going to be 14 there. Um, we're going to subtract the 14. We're going to get a six. Um, so we're going to bring the next naught down here. So seven into 60 is going to go eight times, and it's going to be 56 subtraction. Uh, let's try and try. I'd like to fit it in if I could, but we'll see anyway. Um, okay, so that's going to be a 4 there, so we're going to bring this naught down here. So 7 to 40 is going to go... Um, oh, I've made an error, haven't I? Where did I make the error? Twenty minus fourteen is six here. No, I haven't. I don't know why I even thought I made an error. Oh god. All right. So so yeah. So um yeah. So that's five. Um and then we bring down the um. So we bring down the the final. Not here, so it's going to go seven times into fifty, and then the remain. And basically, the point is anyway that the um, the remainder is going to be is obviously going to be one here, and that one is obviously going to be synonymous with um, congruent with this here, and so we can say that one seventh is the same as point one four two eight five seven, and this and this is a repeating decimal. So let's um, generalize this a little more now. So if we have the rationals, 
course, we'll recall this is denoted by Q. Um, so this is um, repeating decimals. Okay, so irrationals. Non-repeating decimals. Okay. So, typical examples of irrationals. Square root of 2 is going to be um, 1.414213, rather. And obviously pi. 3.414159, blah, blah, blah. Well, uh, well, Trump. I don't know, whatever. Um, so, yeah. So, finally, let's um, consider this. Um, okay, so this is actually a true statement I've made here. 3.999 recurring equals 4.00 recurring. Let's verify. Okay, so we could say, let's um, set X to be 3.999 recurring. Okay, so we can say that 10x is going to be 39.999 recurring. Okay, so we know the, we know the value, so it's simply, okay, so do 10x minus x is going to be 9x. 39.9 recurring uh, minus 3.9 recurring is going to be 36. So it's going to be x equals 4. So we can see that this statement that I've just made here is now, is correct. Okay, and this and this holds true... Um, in any in any case, so we could have, for instance, we could have 0.581399 recurring, and that is going to be uh, congruent to 0.5814 with zeros recurring as well, and that will work in any in any case there. Um, so that is basically it.